Today on Toy Shiz, Born in Darkness, Sworn to Justice, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another retro shiz look back at the past, and today we're going all the way back to 1997 for the premiere of the brand new Spawn movie by Todd McFarlane and McFarlane Toys, right? Spawn, Attack Spawn. This was the Spawn to have out of all the figures. He had climbing action grappling hook snap on hand arsenal and on the side of the box you get that really cool movie poster look for spawn again born in darkness sworn to justice and if you really looked at it most people unless you were really into spawn at the time probably thought this was batman <laughs> on the back side of the box all the humongous catalog of cross sells for mcfarland toys at the time including spawn the movie which in all honesty while I did like the movie, the toys were hit and miss. The bigger figures, this figure we're looking at, more my style. The other ones were kind of... Yeah. And yes, McFarlane was doing everything at that time. I mean, they had Series 8 going on, which was a fantastic Spawn series. One of my favorites. You also had the McFarlane Monsters. You had Kiss, Total Chaos, Manga Spawn, which was coming up. Series 9, which everyone was like, what is that going to be? Huh? And then you had the McFarlane Toys Collectors Club, which kind of plays a hand in looking like they're returning to form with that coming soon. McFarlane Toys Collectors Club or the McFarlane Store, whatever they're going to be doing. But call 1-88-99-SPAWN and you can find out all about the brand new McFarlane Toys Collectors Club. On the very bottom of the box... The instructions, how things fit, you can swap out hands. That's actually pretty cool. Again, being ahead of his time. Now, that's like a no-brainer. But back then, nah, we didn't have swap out hands. And here's the barcode if for some reason you're trapped in 1997 and you're trying to grab a Spawn figure before you return home. Spawn the movie was a special effects movie event of the year. Now, being that I was in a Spawn, and being that there was really no such thing as the internet back then, I think it was mostly Wizard Magazine and then reading the newspaper <laughs> is how I was like, oh yeah, there's going to be a Spawn movie. That's pretty cool. And I remember my dad took me to see it and he was largely like, mm, I don't know if this is my thing. You know what I mean? But it was my thing and I did like it. Although even as a kid, I was like, there's something, I don't know what it was. It wasn't the comic book. It was just okay and for this day i still really like it though to be honest with you and you had michael jai white as spawn aka al simmons you had the rest of the cast that played wanda and cyan and terry fitzgerald you had martin sheen as jason Wynn. you had julie cooper as jessica priest and the the true star of the show i'm just gonna say was john leguizamo as the clown. You can just tell that dude was having a blast. He even ate a piece of pizza with maggots on it, or so Hollywood lore goes. There's even a director's cut of Spawn, a little bit more information, a little bit more running time to it. It's pretty good, definitely check it out. In all honesty, when I do think of Spawn, of course you got the comics, of course you got the toys, but if you wanna see an excellent, amazing rendition of Spawn, go watch the HBO old animated series. There is nothing better it is awesome please bring that back so this is going to be a absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot spontastic cup of coffee this is a retro shiz look back at the 1997 climbing action grappling hook snap on hand arsenal attack spawn from the spawn movie by mcfarland toys and Spawny Spawny, he's our man right out of the packaging and you can see all the various attachments his humongous wing slash cape. It's really supposed to be his cape, but you know, it's like a grappling hook attachment. It's very toyetic for back in the 90s, and we loved our 90s toys, right? He does come with several accessories, blades, things that pop out of his arms and hands, and a giant one of those claws, but this was like a really cool attachment, just four blades. Really nicely sculpted and painted very nice as well. And then he had his weird suction cup hands. I would say they're not exactly spot on. They are more from the back than they are from uh, inside, but we'll, then we'll talk about that. The wings are epic. It's cool. It's like a bat crossed with a spider, crossed with bones and veins and the tissue. Whatever this is supposed to be, 
It's very McFarlane. And it's very, very awesome. It's also kind of a butterfly. Very deranged McFarlane toys butterfly, you know what I mean? It had a spinal column, all these different spikes and black pieces right here. Very nice texture, very nice paint. Pegs into spawns back right there. And they'd open and shut, they just kind of collapse back. This was the grappling hook attachment. It could insert right there and you pull it out and it's like a little cord. You can swing spawn around and make him go up and down or hang him from your banister, whatever. However, I would play with this thing. But you pull this in right here and it would kind of zoom him up. So it's not exactly like a pull cord that you could kind of hook him onto something and he would launch. That would have been ideal. But in a sense, yeah, it retracts on its own and it's cool. And you take Spawn right here, who is so cool, right? They perfectly captured. It's like what Marvel Legends do with the MCU now. But McFarlane Toys did it with a Spawn. It looks like he stepped right out of the movie. He had all the, the weird necroplastic symbiote costume details. Didn't have the boot, but he had a, a semblance of a boot, right? The beginnings of a boot. Bits of red. It's very much like the classic costume, the original costume for Spawn with the reds and the whites and the blacks, but done in a more movie-esque. And again, he's very wet. He's very sinewy. It's awesome, right? It's very cool. As far as the articulation goes, he would just kind of swivel at the head right there. You had articulation at the arms. Single jointed elbows, spikes, the hands would rotate as well on both sides. Nothing at the waist. Legs kind of had that female articulation for the 90s in a way. You know what I mean? And he did have single jointed knees. Nothing at the legs, nothing at the feet, nothing like that. Very basic articulation. This would hook onto his back and he would have the semblance of his cape. And you did see the cape in the movie, but it was used very minimally. Special effects back then. You know, special effects movie event of the year. Kind of. <laughs> but the spawn is achieved. It's pretty dang cool. In terms of just swapping at his hands. Like I said, not really a thing back in the day. But yeah, this was ahead of its time. You could put these suction cup hands on. And they're interesting. It's like big, huge mitts. They were kind of more suction cuppy kind of things, right? Barely saw them in the film. One of the directors kind of saw a little bit more of them and he'd kind of climb around the building when the cops are chasing him after hunting down Wynn. And then you could also hook on these various contraptions and murder weapons. And this is when he's going to stab Violator and he makes them bigger and it, it works. But this one right here, it kind of looks like Alec Baldwin from Beetlejuice, hit the, the monster head, you know what I mean? I get what they're going for, but it, it spawns not Clayface. But this thing right here, this is what I'm talking about. This was awesome. Again, huge blades from the movie. Not exactly bought on the movie, but at least it's something that you see in the movie. And he stabs Violator right in the neck during that battle in hell, which was bonkers and made absolutely no sense but yeah it totally works so if you want to jab it in violator's neck nowadays you could still do that speaking of which new mcfarland toy spawn figures are coming out now and yeah these were smaller scale compared to what we're kind of getting now the scaling went up as the spawn figures came out but even let's say the new clown he's pretty much taller than this spawn figure whereas all the movie figures largely went together. I have all the movie figures, but I gotta pull those out. The new Kickstarter spawn, he dwarfs this guy. Kind of has like the similar look, pretty much achieves that look of the cape. But yeah, you can see much taller. There are certain spawn figures, spawn characters that do fit within this realm of scale, but it kind of varies from wave to wave, series to series. And one of the big competitors for around this time was Toy Biz. And they had a lot more detail going on. They did fix that, it's kind of sorta, with Planet of the Symbiotes and other Venom figures. And then later as they got more detail with Marvel Legends. But yeah, this is kind of how the 90s looked back then. And yeah, if you have the more larger deluxe Violator, I did like Violator in the movie, but the comic book looks of these characters are so classic. I absolutely love them. And if you really wanted to go old school, you could always go to the McFarlane Toys Collectors Club and get the special edition Todd the Artist figure, aka Todd the Bum. Yeah, Todd McFarlane was a guest cameo in his own Spawn movie. He's the bum. Yeah, they made an action figure of him. Pretty cool, right? So that's really going to wrap it up for my retro shiz look back at the 1997 Spawn the Movie Attack Spawn figure. It's a very cool figure to have. Very much... The beginnings, the start of all these comic book movies that we are so all obsessed with. But Spawn was one of the first, right? It wasn't exactly perfect, of course. But nowadays, 
I would love to see a new Spawn movie. To be honest, I would love to see a TV show series if you wanted to go live action, but truth be told, I would love an animated series or bring the animated series back and build upon that. We got the new Spawn universe coming, everything else. So sky's the limit with Spawn, year of the Spawn, yada yada. I'm excited for what they're gonna do coming soon. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this figure. Do you have it? Did you have it? Or do you need to get it now? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn the movie. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, Jessica Priest killed Spawn, not Chapel, right? Wink, wink. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.